protests against police brutality in the city have been going on for 45 plus days now. Now protesters say they're circling past some city council members' homes in order to have their voices heard. Our words just don't seem to be heard. Uh, and so we got to make ourselves uh, more present. Uh. Since May 29th, protests against police brutality and racial injustices have been taking place in Detroit daily in some capacity. Most recently, demonstrators were protesting the death of Hakeem Littleton, a 20-year-old shot and killed by Detroit police on Friday, July 10th, in the area of McNichols and San Juan on the city's west side. Tristan Taylor with Detroit Will Breathe says his organization met with Littleton's family yesterday. And where we talked about the tape and what it means to have different responses to incidents uh, where there's like tension and conflict. Taylor referring to the police body and dash cam of the shooting released by Chief James Craig just hours after Littleton was killed. Craig states the shooting was justified because Littleton shot at police first. But that didn't stop demonstrators from protesting this weekend. Now they will drive by the homes of city council members Benson and McAllister. Their message today that all charges be dropped against demonstrators who were arrested during all the recent protests. We've been calling for weeks on resolutions around getting uh, the charges dropped against the protesters. Taylor says the councilmen are holding up a resolution to drop the charges. I reached out to both council members and have not heard back by Monday afternoon. In Detroit, April Morton, CW50 News at 10.